says, how do you know that a person is demon possessed and have you ever met one? So, um, Sean, just really quick, the understanding, um, if somebody is demon possessed, like that's always, not always super clear, but there are some instances in the Bible that you do read that make it, you know, this would definitely be an, a strong indicator. Um, so like going back to, uh, Isaiah chapter eight, you know, talking about people who are mediums and wizards in verse 19, who whisper and mutter, you know, uh, you know, just making these, you know, bizarre sounds, clicking things like that, you know, just kind of doing things that are, you know, they just have a certain look to them that, you know, it's, they're not in their right mind. And some people, you know, they do suffer mental illness. So you, it's hard to tell. Some people might just have mental illness, but some people might actually be demon possessed. Another thing is um, in the New Testament, it talks a lot about, you know, people who are demon possessed and how Jesus cast out those demons. Um, and one of the stories that was really touching to me is a story in Mark chapter five about a, a demon possessed man was healed. And one thing that was very, really um, interesting, uh, very noticeable about him um, in verse two, it says, when he'd come out of the boat immediately, he met out of the tombs, a man with an unclean spirit. So this guy was just kind of living around dead, you know, in a graveyard kind of thing who had his dwelling among the tombs and no one could bind him, not even his with chains. So basically he had this extra supernatural strength um, and not to do good, but to do violence. And it says in verse four, because he had often been bound with shackles and chains and the chains had been pulled apart by him and the shackles broken in pieces, neither could anyone tame him. And in verse five, it says, and always day and night, night and day, he was in the mountains and the tombs crying out. So just this constant wailing and screaming and, you know, cutting himself with stones. So just this constant self-harm and yelling and screaming and just, you know, obviously somebody who's just miserable because demons are only there to cause suffering. Um, you know, just like Jesus says in John 10, 10, the, the thief comes, which is Satan and his angels come, but to steal and to kill and destroy, that's all Satan's angels, you know, him and his side come to do is, you know, harm people. And so, um, again, it's, you know, there's definitely signs of somebody who's, you know, screaming, screaming, you know, obscenities, things like that. I've heard of people who've come to churches and all of a sudden, like, you know, somebody starts just screaming because, you know, they're, they have, they're possessed and somebody has to pray over them. And you can see when they have that peace of mind that they've been cleared of that demon. And, um, you know, uh, another sign is, you know, again, somebody being excessively violent, just like we saw in that, what this, that man in Mark chapter five. So there's a lot of different signs, but there's also sometimes people that, you know, it might not be so clear that they're demon possessed they might have you know seem calm but um the clearest manner <laughs> the clearest verse that the bible gives again is going back to isaiah chapter 8 verse 20 to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word is because there is no light in them and so if they're speaking cunningly you know about things and they're lying and the intention is for them to lie then they are definitely being used by an evil spirit to spread lies to people and so um, that's something that I've definitely seen doing ministry. I've met a lot of people in the street and um, knocking on doors, you know, doing evangelism, trying to get people interested in Bible studies. And I've met people that I, I can see in their eyes. That I'm like, you are possessed. <laughs> and, um, you know, they definitely are just not open to spiritual things and, you know, pushing people pushing me away, screaming. Um, I've had, you know, just all sorts of experiences of people. I, I'm like, you're not in your right mind. You're, you're possessed for sure. And all you can do is, you know, just pray God's spirit over you and, you know, pray for them because they definitely need help. And if they're open and willing to, you know, have that evil spirit taken out of them, then it, it can happen, but they have to be willing. So, and I know I've had um, somebody I was trying to help and I was, I was praying for them. You know, they were screaming because I, I really and truly believe it was a demon that they were fighting with. Um, but eventually after a long time, um, they, they calm down. And so I can only say it was by, you know, prayer and fasting. So.